This right here is your Jordan 4 Cement Gray from 2019, guys. Only four years ago. Well, five. Ten, well, yeah, five years ago. 2019 Jordan Cement, Black Cement, Jordan Black Cements, right? Now look at the box. Remember, this is the reimagined theme. Something I've been loving about Jordan brand and the reimagined theme is that they're basically taking our classics and they reimagining them a little different. Some of them, some of them have great stories. Some of them have no stories. They just did a different quality or something, right? So this right here is the original. Remember, this is 2019. This ain't the 89 original, right? I don't even know. I don't even know if I did a review on this. If not, I'll probably just do a review on this after this. But uh, this is the more original take on the shoe. But before we get on the shoe, let me show you the difference on the box and how they flipped it. So this is the 2019 box and the 2012 box as well. I don't have the 2012 pair, but that basically the same. So you have the cement gray on the bottom and your black lid on the top with your red Jumpman and white flight. However, since we're doing reimagining, reimagining and flipping things around, they actually flip the script on it. You have a black bottom and a gray cement top. So they already flipped that for us, right? Now let's take that out the way. Now this is it right here. The Jordan 2019 cement, black cement. Um, this is Nurebuck material, but besides the material, it's pretty much identical. However, I will be going through some of the differences between the two. So let's start with the most noticeable thing, the leather. So as you can see, the 2019 pair is Nubuck, the 2024 pair is leather, and it's just great quality leather, man. I mean, I'm telling you, bro, this is that good quality. This is that seven, that's out of uh, seven out of 10, eight out of 10 good quality on the toe box, on the side panels, on the tongue. I mean, bro, they did the things on these. And then you have the new buck pair right here. And honestly, ain't nothing really special about the quality on the new buck. Like the Jordan 4 Thunders that just came out last year, which I have a link right here. Um, there that quality new buck is better than this quality. This is more of a Yeah, this is just no bueno. You know what I'm saying? And then that's one that's the biggest that okay put it like this For the non sneaker heads out there they can tell The difference between these two shoes They could tell probably two things super different the quality that this is leather this is not and the hang tag that this is orange and this is black after that to the untrained eye to the untrained sneaker collector or sneakerhead they're pretty much that was it right no this right here is more shaped to the OG 85 form and is also kind of shaped like the SB4s now when I heard that I didn't know what to say because I don't have the SB4 pine greens however one thing I do appreciate a lot is this back tab this back tab right here is so more softer it's still a little hard but do you know if you are real Jordan forehead you know how many times you got cut if you don't if you didn't have long socks on how much you got cut by this um, heel tab right here the, the real Jordan 4 people they know so this is gonna cut you a lot less because it is a little bit more flimsier and softer so that's gonna be awesome. Now, going to the toe box of the shoe. The Jordan, the Jordan uh, 2024 is a lot. Oh my goodness, hold on. 
Hold on, I got another Jordan 4 cement. Hold on. Okay, so there's so many Jordan 4s here. I had to clear out the boxes, but for those who don't know, this pair right here is the 20, is the 2008 pair. And this comes from uh, the Jordan Countdown box right here, the double pack set. That's where this pair comes from right here. So now that I got them all out, I promise I don't have no more Jordan 4 black cements. I promise, all right? <laughs> now that we got them all out, we could do a quick comparison. I'm gonna be honest with you. I wasn't gonna do, I was gonna do a video of this by itself and then do a comparison later on. But I was like, you know what? Let me just give it to you all right now. So now, this is the deal. This is the deal. The Jordan 4 right here is back is more backed up to the 84 pair a little bit the toe box is a lot more better and slimmer the the shoe is more of a um of an angle it doesn't it doesn't hit that curve like if you take this one you can see it goes down and like that kind of like a little l or or like a <coughs> yeah like a little l and then the same with this one See what I'm saying? Now, all of these pairs are DS. Oh, wow, I just noticed something. The, uh... These are cracking big time. I don't even know if I should. That's the bad thing about being a collector, man. You know, got these Jones right here and you wear them once they're gonna crack they're all ashy anyways all right so you can tell my voice i got sad right is this there's so much jordan 4 overload right now all right hold on okay so now let's go with the heels let me turn these around well, actually i'll show you a better close-up now when you're going through the heel you can tell that obviously the one with the jordan jump man on it that's the older version but look how short it is this is like a mid. This is like a Jordan 4 mid because in the retros, they made it a little bit less technology, less materials, bloom, 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 right? And then now, the last four to five years, we started getting retros with the OG cut or very similar to the OG cut. So this one is very distinctive. You can tell for a mile away that these are super different. However, they all have the same pattern. They're all black in the upper, got the black netting, got the, the white and black midsole and red and the bottom. You know, this is, they all identical. Look at the bottom. They're all, actually do like this. They're all the same in the bottom. There's nothing different except that this pair right here has the Jordan in the bottom. Then when you get to the top, they all have the gray little eyelets on the, um, uh, where the lace is supposed to be at. The only difference is that this one, the two bottom one are actually a shiny plastic. Now, I don't know if it's cause of age or something, but the shiny plastic on the 2008 is only in the bottom. When you get to the heel, like I was saying, the Jordan Jumpman logo on the heel, that's very distinctive. However, when you get to the heel on the newer ones, you can tell, they're, these are, hold on, these are 10 and a half or 11. All right, so this one's actually a 10 and a half, but it's not much of a big difference anyways. These two are 11. The 2019 and the 2024 are a size 11. My size. When you look at the back, it's pretty much identical. The heel tabs are exactly the same on the 24, the 2024 and the 2019 pair. Going to the midsole is exactly the same as well in the bottom. Then when you get to the rubber, I mean, when you get to the air sole unit is exactly the same again, like I said. These shoes are basically identical, except for the huge difference of the leather. You got the, the cut and the materials is different, right? So now let me take this out so you can see some. The inside of this shoe also says Nike Air, but 
when you get to the tongue, see this is the major part too. When you look at all the tongues, now this is all the right shoe, right? This is the right shoe to all of them. When you get to the tongue, major difference. The major difference on the tongue is that you cannot see you cannot see the red behind the tongue. That's another thing that they they went to the throwback edition for because the 2008 you can see the red right here on the tongue. The 2019 you see the red lining on the tongue. The 2024 no red lining it's not overlapping it's hidden that's more tribute to the throwback to the, to the originals in 89 or 88 right another thing i just noticed right now that's pretty funny it's pretty funny if you look at the nets if you look at the net on the um toe cap on the toe box and on the side it's a lot smaller so if you look at the netting, you have a grid pattern and the corners of all four squares is flat. When you get to the 2019 pair and the 2024 pair, you're going to see that the four corners has a little bubble on it. Now I'm going to do some research and try to see if I can see a, 20, a, a, a 1988 pair to see if they have the bubbles on the square and if I can find it, I'll put it up there for you guys. But right there, you can see that it got the bubbles on the squares on all four corners. And the 2019 pair is a little bit smaller, but it still got it. The, tw the 2008 pair has no bubbles on the square. That's basically it. I mean, pretty much a similar, sh a similar sneaker throughout all decades, um, except for a few tweaks in here and there. But I'm very, very excited on the Jordan 4 black cement reimagine i'm telling you as of today right now this is my top like without thinking this is definitely my top uh top three sneakers so far i'm not gonna think ahead because i know the jordan 17s are coming out and i'm excited but i don't know if they'll crack number one however these have a chance to crack number one this is so amazing. I mean, did you remember how happy I got when I got the bread? I mean the bread. When I got the Jordan 4 Oreos, I'll put a link right here. <laughs> but hold on. This is the Jordan 4 Oreos that I wore so much. I just got this sneaker from a sneaker convention trade. It's not a sneaker. This is a 2015. 2015, right? And this is not a pair I had since 2015. When I tell you I got this in September, that makes it four months or whatever, right? Five months. When I got this in September in the sneaker trade, I already wore this over 10 times. 10 times I wore this, bro. 10, more than 10 times. You know why? Because it's so sleek. It's good, le look at this leather, man. It's good quality. It's just so basic, black and gray. You could fucking, you could do anything to it. It's basically borderline indestructible at this point. Where this, I never wore. I got it. Obviously, you have to have this in the collection. You know what I'm saying? A 2000, a 2019 bread for 2019 black cement four with the Nike Air on the back. What? Yes. I had to get it. Um, haven't worn because the new buck material and I'm gonna be honest with you Jordan 4's are uncomfortable for me they're like tight the new buck material don't stretch as much and then this right here just always cuts into my socks into my ankle I'll start bleeding bro like if you wear this with socks this can friction the sock a bit but if you have no socks bro this right here will cut into your skin you know what I mean? Now, I, I wore socks. I meant to say low profile or uh, ankle. 
you gotta wear like mids, like mid socks or high socks, you know what I mean? And it's just like, bro, why, man? Why you make this so hard like that? But that's why I kind of really didn't wear these as much, you know what I mean? Plus the material, it gets stained very easily. But this one, man, you could wear this all the time. You can wear this one all the time. And guess what? It's leather. And it's good quality leather. So get guess what? You start wearing this, it's going to start um, breaking in a lot better. It's going to be more comfortable. I heard that this was based off the Jordan 4 SB um, collaboration. And if that's the case, and I heard that was the most comfortable Jordan 4 ever. Actually, it's just the most comfortable. It's one of the most comfortable shoes out right now. Not even Jordan, just comfortable wise. And if this is half of that, then I'm happy because the Jordan 4s, they're a little narrow, man. You know, hit me with that pinky toe right here. You know, it's, it's a little much sometimes. But hopefully the new cut, the wider cut right here, the leather will make it a lot better. But anyways, guys, that's your video. That's the comparison of all three black cement fours I have in my collection. The 2008 countdown pack right here. I picked up the 2019. What? The 2008 countdown pack with the Jordan logo in the back. The 2019 Jordan 4 with the Nike Air on the back. And then the reimagined baby right here. Nike Air in the back. The good leather throughout the whole shoe. I will be rocking these. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'm about to hit a thousand subscribers very soon. And hey, if you're stopping by my videos and you watch for more than one minute, subscribe, man. Hit that subscribe button. Show some love. Support the channel. It's free. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Commenting. All of that stuff is free, man. It's free. It's free. It's free. Help me hit that 1,000. Until next time, loungers. Peace out.